Hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hello, hello, hi. Um, I wanted to do a kind of a little bit of an impromptu video um, utilizing some of my kits that I may or may not have cracked open before or right in right around the time that I decided to start a, um, a channel and actually do some content creation around diamond painting. So I have these kits that are technically already unboxed. I think there's probably about four or five of them um, that are already unboxed either because I just was too anxious and had to open them or they came in like a double set. So there was two kits in one box. So if I was to open one, I was technically opening them both. Um, so I was trying to figure out a fun way to maybe still incorporate these kits. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna do like a kind of semi unboxing or re unboxing with some of them. I don't have the actual boxes for these anymore, um, but I thought I might also incorporate them into kind of more snack size or quick um, tips or um, adding them to our um, this is how we do it <laughs> video series. Um, oh my gosh, Apollo is. I forgot I left the back door open and he's outside. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I looked out the uh, craft room window and I see Apollo just kind of walking around out there. He's not being necessarily mischievous, but oh, and now what are you going to Oh my gosh. He is um uh he's definitely past his shy just came home puppy phase of the past the past week has been uh, an interesting one. It's definitely starting to, uh, as you can see, he's yanking on the cord. Sir, come on, come on. Okay, all right, got him settled, I think. Um, I can hear him and kind of keep him within earshot, but yeah, definitely moving into the post-innocent husky puppy, and now he's being a, a true husky, so <laughs> um, anyway, um, so, Essentially, what I want to do today is utilize a canvas uh, from Distracted by Diamonds that I had already opened, didn't really do any sort of uh, unboxing or anything, but work it into the this is how we do it and explain how I store my canvases once they are unboxed. So I'll show you what I do with this. And I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I haven't actually shown them being there where they're stored. So I'll actually show you my little storage closet and then where I keep the drills because they're separate. And this will just be a quick boom, 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 um, this is how we do it, slash re-unboxing. So the kit that we're actually going to be doing this with is one that was already hanging up. I just pulled it down from where I was storing it. And this is from Tamara, or Tamara de Lampica, and it is self-portrait. So there's that. Wow, that looks so cool on camera. <laughs> um, up, up close, just the way, because there's so many dark drills and a lot of color blocking, you it's kind of hard to see the detail a little bit, but you can see it a lot more. Um, when you're at a little bit of a distance. So um, there's that. This is a square drill canvas with 48 colors. I believe the size here is uh, 52 by 68 up there. And I just really fell in love with this artist. It's kind of that art deco-y style um, that uh, they have three kits from Tamara or Tamara de Lampica on Distracted by Diamond's site. So um, I ended up getting two of the three. There was one that just didn't really speak to me, but we'll be doing an unboxing or a re-unboxing of that other one that I have at some point in the future when I get around to it. But this is self-portrait. Um, like I said, 48 colors. I went ahead and already unboxed this. So once I'm done unboxing it, um, what you got in this kit was your traditional single placer with some multi-placer tips, a diamond painting tray, and a squishy. You also received some wax as well. Um, and then that was also came with a, uh, the diamond painting tray was actually a double-sided tray. I think I have one over here still stored. Um, so this is the um, Distracted by Diamonds tray. And so you'll get your toolkit in here, part of the toolkit in here. So you got a uh, two trays in one essentially. Pretty cool. All right, so once I'm done unboxing it, um, I grab a little, a gallon size Ziploc bag. And in that Ziploc bag, uh oh, I crushed some of these. I'm gonna place the sticker sheet, um, big sticker sheet. I feel like I, this could be cut down a little bit, but they try to do a pretty good job of doing the individual stickers um, for each color. Now, when I folded this over to store it, it looks like I messed up a couple of those stickers there. 
but I might not even use this um, at these on my storage containers. So what you can do is peel these off and bop them on your storage containers. I just hand write them, that way I still get my legend. Um, even though this legend on the canvas itself is pretty legible, I tend to cover some of it up with washi tape. So let me see if I can fix this real quick. I'm gonna put these here and here, that way they're not getting on the fold or the crease itself. So that's what it looks like for now until I actually work it up. Um, you've got some information about um, Distracted by Diamonds here and kind of their um, mission statement, essentially. And then I have this bag, um, which I've labeled Distracted by Diamonds Self-Portrait by Tamara Dimlimpika. If this was small enough to be facing out, then I wouldn't have written anything on the bag so I could reuse it. But since this is such a large sticker sheet, I kind of had to do this. So we have all of our diamonds in here. Let's go ahead and go through the colors just so you can see them. Um, I don't believe this kit has anything like ABs. This is all regular drills. So this might be a kit that you want to bling up yourself or do a little highlighting on yourself. And once we're done here and kind of have the colors sorted out, I might take a look to see what I might be able to do with this. So um, in no particular order, we've got 758. You see that? Awesome. 500. Just making sure I'm in focus. I'll just bring them up here. 500. Big old bag of what I'm assuming is 310. Yep, 310. We've got 414 and 413. 3848 and 950. I really love, and one of the reasons why this uh, jumped out at me is, or jumped out to me, A, because I love the style of artwork, but I love the color palette for this. I love these kind of turquoise, sea foam, aquamarine um, types of greens mixed with some more grays. It's really nice. 163, 3849, 909, 336, 318, 3813, 700, 355, 452, 779, 819, 356, ooh, I really like that. So yeah, this is like a, it's kind of like a woman in a, in a car. I believe it's a Bentley from what I remember reading. Um, and it's just like a really just, I don't know, it kind of gave me high class photo vibes. And she's got kind of like a, like an interesting kind of hat um, and like a, a shawl kind of um, some fabric kind of flowing behind her. So really cool. 900, 817, 666, just some teensy little amounts of red. Got a straggler here. Um, I wonder where those reds are gonna go. I'm assuming just in her lips and maybe in some of her um, her makeup there. Oh, and maybe in her glove over there. Let's see. Big old bag of 3371, 3799, 3072, 3814. Uh, that might be my favorite color thus far, by the way. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, 3778, 993, 991, ooh, I love that one too, 415, uh, 3766, and 918, forest green, kind of, uh, color 890, 317, 3774 and 976. 3827, 3860. 5.35, 37.79, and 9.38. Almost there. <laughs> 9.51, 38.26. 
168, 38, 63, 949, and 453. Okay, so there's those colors for you, all 48 of them there, square drill canvas, um, canvas size 52 by 68. This is from Distracted by Diamonds, and it is Self Portrait by Tamara de Lampica. So there's that canvas. I think it's really stunning. I love kind of her hat or what she's got going on here. Um, the fact that you have this really beautiful detailed kind of car here. Um, and then um, also these really lovely gloves. And th there's a lot of fabric work back there. But for the most part, this is a pretty dark background. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work up with the face. Um, on the actual photo, there's a lot more contrast and waving to this fabric that I can't really see just from the um, just from the rendering. So I'm hoping that comes through um, once the drills are placed on it because there is a significant amount of detail within this, and I'm hoping that it didn't get kind of just washed out because it's it's a darker color fabric. Um, so I'm curious to see what that ends up actually looking like, especially here. Um, we've got um, the detail of the steering wheel here, and I'm curious to see if that's going to come through with all of the other black that kind of is mixed in here. So very curious to see how all of this ends up working up. But what I'm gonna do now that um, I've kind of done a re-unboxing, I'm gonna go ahead and bag my drills back up into their uh, large uh, gallon size bag. Once we do that, I'm actually gonna pull you off of the tripod and quickly show you, um, or I'll show you kind of how I clip these, um, how I hang them, and then I will show you where they're hung in the closet as well as where I keep my extra drills. So let me go ahead and uh, just tidy this up real quick, and then we'll pop you off of that tripod. Let's get these in here. Da -da -da. I really do love these colors. But now I'm that I'm taking a closer look at the um, at the rendering, I, I do have some questions, so we'll see. Um, it looks like I got the, oh, there's this one straggler drill. I was just checking for straggler drills. When I do have these and I'm just um, storing it and not kidding up, I just pop it right in the bag with the rest. And then if I can find the color that it goes with, great. If not, I have a little container called spare drills that I use with every kit and I'll put all my spare drills in there and if I run out of a color I can pick through those and see if I can match them up so um, so back into the bag it goes there we go so we've got our kit and our canvas and our drills let's go ahead and pop you off and we'll take a look at the closet oh hold on sorry um, so I want to quickly show you how I'm gonna hang it in the closet sorry about that so here, I'm just gonna bring this down just a little bit so you can see the top. And here I have um, some relatively inexpensive pants hangers that I picked up off of Amazon. I think they came in like a set of 10 or 20. And so I've got these, they've got some pretty sturdy clips and some grippies on there on either side. Um, so I'm gonna just come over here, clip and clip and center as much as possible. And that's how I would hang it in the closet is just with that there. And I can put up to two, maybe three canvases on a single uh, pants hanger before they get too heavy and they start to pull loose. So I'll probably get two on here. Um, so that's that. All right, let's go ahead and pop you off and I'll show you the closet. Okay, all right. So here we've got our um, canvas. And then here is the closet. It's not super organized. There's a bunch of stuff in there, some board games back there. But you can see I've got my, um, sorry for being so shaky. I've got a lot of kits and I don't wanna spoil some of these cause I haven't unboxed. Oh, I think some of them are back to back. But as you can see, I just have them hung up here. Um, just a whole bunch of kit. And these are all ones that I've opened and haven't um, either have done unboxings for or a couple I haven't. Um, so I've got all these here, and then down here we have all of the uh, kits that still need unboxing. So those are all down there. Got my little storage unit, my container of drill containers, <laughs> my storage things. Um, so, sorry, this is haphazard. So we're going to go ahead and take the Tamara de Lampica, go ahead and hang that right on up in the craft closet. So there it is ready to go and I can flip through these um, and take a look and see which canvas I want to do next. 
and um, then all my new unboxings or new uh, kits that haven't been opened yet are down there. And then as for our drills, we're gonna come over here and I've got this big container here and we're gonna flip this open and pop that up. And as you can see, here are the drills from all of my unboxed kits. So you can see um, there's some, there might be a spoiler there for one, an upcoming unboxing, but you can see, um, ooh, there, I think, nope, I haven't done that one either. Oh my, no, wait, I have, I think. Um, so there's The Kiss by Diamond Art Club, The Stop Plant, um, a Distracted by Diamonds one. This is a um, spoiler for maybe an upcoming unboxing. Marie Laveau by Matt Lyon, Distracted by Diamonds. So I just kind of toss them in here and label them best I can. Um, and then there we go. So I'm not gonna show too many more because there's a few in there that I have not unboxed yet. So I don't wanna ruin it. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, since we're here, here's my crafting table. There's my crystal light and um, just some various uh, diamond painting trays and tools and stuff. This is, I did not clean this up in preparation for this little tour. And so usually my chair is here, but right now we've got the tripod. So that's where I film. There's my carpet. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. So usually what I'll do with this drill container is once I'm done fussing with it, it just gets rolled right underneath the table there. Whoop. Um, that way it's kind of out of the way. And then there might be a dog behind me. Do you want to say hi, Apollo? Say hi, baby. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? What? Come here. Come on. Pop up. Come on. Hi, say hi. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that's that. That's a little um, <laughs> unboxing, re-unboxing, but main part of that was uh, this is how we do it. That's how I store my um, diamond paintings until we're ready to bring them down and work on them. Um, sometimes I'll even hang up my whip, but sometimes they get so heavy with the drills, um, like Soul of the Rose that I'm working on, it's too heavy, it just pulls right off of those, so it's just sitting behind me. So that's that. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear how you store your diamond paintings, if you put them back in their boxes as is, um, or if you hang them. Um, the only reason I do this is to separate what's been unboxed, at least that was the goal, as to what's have been unboxed and filmed and what hasn't. But now there's a, because of my impatience, there's probably about four or five more kits in there that need a proper unboxing. So once I'm done with those, then everything will be in balance. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments. I'd love to hear how you do it. Um, and yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, share this content with a friend, family member, or someone that you think might take some value out of it. And as always, everyone, happy placing. Bye.